in a better place now. Rest in peace. All right, now on the subject of ridiculous things, I got to check out Baywatch. Oh, God. The 2017, um, not even reboot, just movie, uh, cinema, big screen, silver screen, Inspired whatever you Inspired by it, the take. most popular TV show. Of all time, yeah. That's what's yeah. ridiculous to me, dude. Yeah. I loved Baywatch. The show? I didn't mind the Baywatch. show. No, I loved it. I, I watched, I watched every, Yasmin, every episode of Baywatch. Yasmin Bleeth, and then she did the movie of Basketball with Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Oh, yeah. yeah. She did. Great, great, yeah. yeah, dude. So but gave us the slow motion jog. It gave us just the most <laughs> yeah. ridiculous, ridiculous. No, I genuinely things. watch Baywatch like all the time. It gave yeah. us the immortalization of David Hasselhoff, oh, who I knew from Night Rider, oh. and I always wondered why Mitch Buchanan didn't have a badass car. Mm. And then no. there was Hobie. Hobie. Oh my Yo, god. Don't, yeah. Hobie. <laughs> don't crap on Hobie. <laughs> all right. Anyone who doesn't know, we're talking about the 2017 film starring uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, Zach, Zach Efron. Efron, several other people. And this movie tanked. Uh, it, did it now? Well, give, it give, it, give it time. It just came out last weekend. No, we're it about tanked. Movie. Don't well, worry, it has time to tank further. <laughs> it's, well, it's twenty million dollars under uh, their expected box now, office. How does this movie oh. have a budget? They're on a beach in shorts. Seventy million dollars is what the budget was for the film, but and it was, it was projected wow. to go what about where the rocks catering. All right, Pat. So what, what was it even about? Like, I've watched the trailer, and I still mm. don't understand what this movie's about. It's about <laughs> virtually nothing. You know what? Honestly, this could be a, this could be a very long episode of the show, which, I mean, if I'm, you're a fan, was not a bad thing. I'm super here it's, for Zac Efron with no shirt, but, like, it just literally seemed like it was about nothing. Well, dig this. Lifeguard Mitch Buchanan, Dwayne Johnson, and a brash new recruit played by Efron uncover a criminal plot that threatens the future of the Bay. Period. Mm. End of scene. Good night. Yeah. That's it, pretty much. And the movie does uh, poke some fun at itself. Like, they do acknowledge this is a silly plot at a couple of points, but they run with it. And all it is is it starts off with every trope you've ever seen on the show. Zac Efron's the cocky new lifeguard, and Buchanan doesn't want him on his team, but red tape is held over his head, but so he's going to make this guy. Isn't uh, Zac Efron like an Olympic gold medalist yes, swimmer he is. in the movie too. This, this is the thing that they don't really point out in the uh, well I mean they probably couldn't they could, they could sue but they don't point out in the advertising he's kind of an allegory for Ryan Lochte right you know the Olympian that was yeah, um, yeah. Bros if, yeah, moron, yeah yeah that guy but he's basically notorious for everything that Efron does in this movie they oh. take it to a little little bit of a so film would you say extreme. it's like terse cultural commentary then I wouldn't say terse, but I would definitely say, yeah, you know, no. I don't think it's a, actually that clever. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, my thing is like, okay, so uh, Zach Efron's so jacked in this, and that's not a swimmer's body. No, no, no. This, 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 <laughs> well, was, let's this be was honest, unnecessary. You know what I mean? So this seems a little, it's almost like creepy how in shape he got. Well, believe like, it or not, they actually called attention to that. It wasn't much. There was It was an offhand comment, but much like we're making in this. Like in this movie, they... Uh, it's a lot more clever than I think people are giving credit for, especially the critics, no, because know. it was aware of all these things, including what you just, just said. Just because right you're aware there. doesn't mean it, it, it makes it better, though. Well, <laughs> it's not like it's 21 Jump Street where it was aware and it was in on the joke, but it yeah. did it in a clever way. I think this maybe to could be have been fair, trying this. 21 Jump Street is a high bar to try to try to, try to reach. Sure, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't strive f for true, that. You know? True, true. Um, and they called attention. Uh, there was a couple of comments uh, basically dissing his his Lochte S character uh -huh. as, why the hell does this guy have so many abs? What's that about? How does that help you swim? <laughs> yeah. You know, and I'm just like, okay, they're pointing out everything I'm thinking while I'm thinking it. Yeah. You know, they, they do like a uh, like a uh, an American Ninja, not, um, what's that show? American Ninja, yeah, American Ninja, Ninja, Ninja yeah. Warrior. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that show, they have uh, challenges like that in there, and they're calling out how ridiculous it is, and they're like, oh, you think this is ridiculous? And then they go more ridiculous. Then The Rock's like, it's Baywatch, bitch, or something like that, right? Uh, Dude, really ex exactly. Yeah. So. Exactly. And the thing is, I, I was in on the joke after a while. That's why I don't hate this movie, because after a while, you as the audience are in on the joke. That's like you one know? of my favorite reviews for anything, is when you're just like, I didn't hate it. <laughs> was it good? I didn't hate it. Didn't well, hate okay, it. We're, not, we're, not, we're not talking about Shakespeare here, let's be fair. Okay? No, this but is still okay, but Baywatch. Pat, I have a very important question, and yes. feel free to not answer me if, if you don't wish to spoil our listeners. Oh, no, he kept the listeners. shirt off the whole time. But is David Hasselhoff in it? Is it does he have a cameo? David Hasselhoff has a couple of cameos. Yeah, no, I think that was that wasn't known. Yeah. Okay, because here's – it, it, however horrible this world is, people, uh -huh. the year is 2017, and two summer movies – have David Hasselhoff cameos in it. Yes, they do. And I, I just want everyone to appreciate the small yeah. joys in life <laughs> and that two summer movies in the year of our Lord, 2017, 
What's the other have one? David Hasselhoff. What's the other one? Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Two. All right. They're not, they're not good cameos. So they I mean, it's just, just yeah. a cameo. You just squeeze them in there a little Him bit. Him eating that hamburger <laughs> drunk on uh, YouTube is <laughs> the only <laughs> Hasselhoff I need. All yeah. right. Well, well about but me. He, hold on. About Baywatch itself. Don't hassle the Hoff, man. Oh, jeez. All right. We've gotten so far. Off. Okay. About Baywatch itself. It's the movie um, <laughs> that basically takes directly from the show. They stuck with the formulas, and I actually appreciated that. Anyone who's seen several, a few episodes of the show gets the general tropes that they throw in every episode because it follows pretty much a template. The movie did the same. You know, there's a uh, chase on jet skis and the villains that can't shoot at anything, but for some reason it's always on the lifeguards. And they call attention to that when they approach the cops, and the cops are like, mm. Why you, you all are lifeguards? Why are you like top, trying you to solve this? crimes and right. stuff? And the uh, rock gives a terrible half-assed answer that that just shows now you all have some kind of superiority complex. This is not what lifeguards do. Right. But it was it was fun. That's okay. the most important thing that would actually make this worth seeing. Believe it or not, I walked in ready to hate this, and I'm walking out like this was not a good movie. Hating it, but it's a movie that's so damn fun. People need to see it. All right. Well, I mean, this movie. I the reason I meant uh, I mentioned that it was like uh, didn't perform as well as people projected as like because a lot of it, what they say is because it was such a bad reviewed mu- movie mm-hmm. like it got such bad reviews that it kind of knocked it's so been the rock, pretty panned yeah so the rock mm, kind of came not- out and say there was a disconnect between the fans and the critics mm. as in like uh the critics aren't like in touch with what's really going on but i don't really get that in this case because not a lot of people saw it so i guess the few people that did mm. crawl out there and go see it are obviously going to be the type that are really going to enjoy this they're going to lap up whatever mm, i don't know, you know I, what I mean I so i don't think very... I, I just don't like calling out critics being like they're out of touch like they don't enjoy fun i think they do you know what i mean i just think they have a higher standard and i think more people should no i can see what he's saying i can see what he's saying there because dude we see a lot of movies yeah but in all fairness we see a lot of movies by choice well, not all critics get to say everything they see is by choice well, we can turn stuff this- down if you work for freaking the wall street journal you know you're gonna be assigned some crap and say, I don't want to see this. I'm going in hating. If these were cats that, as their job, not as a want, went in to see the movie to begin with, then they're probably going to go with, with a bias. <laughs> I'm not making excuses for anything. Like I said, it's not a great movie. And well, I don't mean to cut you no, off. I don't think no, 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 it's fine, Pat. Yeah. I, I was just going to say, to go back to an earlier thing we discussed on the show, yeah. uh, you and I both saw Ninja Turtles 2. We both went into it saying, oh, this is going to be miserable, <laughs> but we're going to force ourselves to watch it so yeah. we can talk about it on air. And we both walked out being like, you know what? It was pretty funny, and for what it was, it was very well done. Mm-hmm. How would you compare that to Baywatch? Do you feel that for what it is, it's pretty good, or are you just kind of defending it in the sense of, well, it wasn't crap? No. Um, for what it is, it was actually pretty good. But I think the um, the expectation was this is a movie that's based off of what was initially the most um, popular show, as you mentioned, mm-hmm. worldwide. I just don't think we, anybody was clamoring for this either. You know what I mean? Well, no, no, no. I, was, I wasn't asking for a Baywatch movie. This thing had its run, and then by the time they did Baywatch Nights, mm, yeah, you know, I mean, garbage is is in Can full I effect. Say this too. Um, yeah, I have a little bit of a problem with like The Rock lately too. Everything I feel like, like he does. No, I do. I just feel like he's so big now, and everything he does is so on brand. Mm-hmm. That he seems like, even though he's pushing this like authentic, grinding, work hard, eat your vitamins type of Hulk Hogan <laughs> attitude, that it feels almost phony. You know what I mean? He seems so market tested and like safe and everything well, like that. That I, don't I know. just, I, think, I, just I think don't, it, I don't buy it anymore. Like I, it's just, it's almost annoyingly pandering. No, you know what I think? Because I remember when The Rock first started doing movies, when Dwayne Johnson, before we knew his name, was Dwayne Johnson, uh-huh. um, when he started doing movies, and he was The Rock. But even um, I remember he, he I read got, his... he got he got movies like um what the was Scorpion it uh, King? Had, well before the Scorpion King even he got movies like Walking Tall you know movies no that was the Scorpion uh, King was the first one Walking Tall came out Scorpion King was the first one yes um well it's just movies we need a random tough guy yeah so we need just someone big with muscles who doesn't really have a lot to look, say look I'm always to ready to smell what he's cooking but well I, I, I think we've like come a long he's... way from Hulk Hogan. In No Holes Barred, in Amer- in uh, Suburban no, Commando. No, I think his Look, movies Suburban are bigger Commando is a gift. It is. <laughs> Next it, you're going to crap on Tropic Lloyd's Thunder. Yeah. Oh, don't get me started on Tropic Thunder. Next you're going to come out and say Tropic Thunder wasn't good. No, I'm gonna no. Have to you, leave. you know what, man? What was, the, what, was that? What, was, what, was that, what was that show he did? That was Knight Rider on boats? Um, that's Tropic Thunder. No, no, no. Tropic Thunder Who was... Who are talking about? Um, the one he did. It was one of those... Day- no, no. Hulk Hogan. It was one of those daytime shows. 
where yeah. um you know like Knight Rider when they had Renegade as a show uh, when they know. had um uh what was the Rising Sun of the show when they had Knight Rider two thousand uh, as a show you know yeah. they did a lot of those uh there were a couple of good ones no but, but there was you one don't... with Hulk Hogan hide um something Hurricane. There was oh, an H hurricane, in there yeah, no, you're right. Maybe okay. it was hurricane, some stupid name. Yeah, something dumb like that. But it was. Hulk they had Hulk Hogan. the boat, and then the boat would shoot out the jet skis. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't get what I'm they saying. Because they get on the we've, jet skis we, we, in the boat. Yeah, we've come a long yeah. way from there. And the thing is, The Rock, he's fell into that role, but he's not trying to be Arnold's serious action star. He's not trying to be a dumb wrestler we threw in because we need a guy with muscles. He's trying to develop well, his own persona, and that just um, happens to be the obnoxiously likable. Kind of right. He's a good dude. He's, he's just a good dude, Pat. Pat. I think he's, he's a, a good, good man, dude Pat. too. I'm just saying, it's just, it just <laughs> seems like it's. I don't know. It's just a little well, too much for me. Nice that, no, maybe that just the movies ultra like, oh, the, you know, the fans, you are the best, and it's just it's sometimes it just it gets under my skin. He's a, a likable bit. gentleman. Mm. Right, well, yeah, but he's she's forcing that likability too much. He's feeding it. You want to see the dark underbelly of Dwayne the Rock? No, I just want to see some like honesty. You know what I mean? Get frustrated. It's it's okay. You know what I mean? Not everything you have to do is be the most brilliant. You know, thought through <laughs> thing yeah, ever. Did you ever you watch? Do... Uh, did you ever watch Dragon Ball Z? No. Yes. Oh, okay. 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 Um, I think he's a lot like the Ox King now. Yes. Yes. You know, yeah. Oh my God. He's, he's, he's yeah, pretty this much. This is very be... on brand. Yes. Yeah, Which he's, one? He's was... got to be nice because uh, Chi-Chi's father. Oh. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. yeah. this dude's just ridiculously huge, imposing, and stuff. He's got to be nice, or else you know they won't let him out of the house. Mm. Well, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna keep this man under like lock and key. And now another thing I wanted to talk about we brought up is uh, yeah. the ridiculousness of being this in shape for yes. movies because yeah. it's getting I everyone insane. was I getting it up, like everybody, and not just like you're, you're gonna do a you know a movie that's just you got your shirt off for the whole thing. You want to be in shape, you know what I mean? It's not like a new thing, but it's like I, it's getting to a point where. Everybody in t- and any action movie is like ridiculously chiseled. Like I yeah, brought there's up, there's no uh, reason Helen Mirren had to get all cut for it. <laughs> right. I brought I, up, I brought up John Krasinski in that movie. Uh, the yes, he did. No, but it's a really that, good whatever, example like, of yeah, just, just like, it's unnecessary to the character, and it feels almost like this requirement where right. we've moved into. You know, we joke well, about like hypersexualization or whatever, mm-hmm. but. It's this really like you know unrealistic. But you have to, to know. what they're it doing. Is. Chris Chris Pratt got in shape for Zero Dark Thirty, but he lost a role because he wasn't in shape enough for mm. uh, I th- believe it was a GI Joe movie. They, they just, turned down GI Joe for with Chris Pratt. I just want to give Chris right Pratt a shout out though mm. because in this kind of toxic workout culture, mm. that he is not only someone that has had to gain muscle, lose weight for roles, but he posts on his social media very realistically about it. He's not like, oh, I gained 60 pounds of muscle for a role. He posts pictures of himself eating a cucumber filled with eggs, saying how much he hates his life and diets right. suck. But I don't know, I'm just saying it's both humorous, but also a really nice thing to mention in terms of these really really jacked actors who you only really see like you see Zac Efron looking ridiculous or incredible depending on whatever descriptor but then someone like Chris Pat Chris Pratt is almost humanizing the process and yeah. saying like, "This is insane no, that I have I was, to gain this muscle." It is. Thomas Here Jane, I am suffering. Thomas uh, Jane posted um, back when he actually when they decided they weren't going to do uh, the Punisher <laughs> two off of his original Punisher with um, John Travolta. Mm. Uh, the workout regiment required for that. The first um, Punisher with <laughs> yeah, Thomas Jane. I, liked I it. did too. Oh. Yeah, I liked ah, it. What? Who cares? What? What? Yeah. Moving on. But anyway, um, but this he, side of the table likes it. Yeah, he, he posted how basically for the first movie, he was in ridiculously good shape. And that was not good enough. Yeah. Like one of the tenets of the, the movie, one of the um, stipulations in his contract was he had to get in that ridiculous shape. Like they make these people actually right. do that. What John true, Krasinski, you mentioned. Bruce Willis was never in shape. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's you know exactly I mean? the point. But that was a like, different generation. But that's like, just the issue. It, it shouldn't matter. be the way it is now is what we're saying. That I'm saying the action movies were better then. Arguably, and well, the I'm, only difference is now everyone's so a, in a, ridiculous it's a, shape that it's, well, it's aesthetic well, based now. Unfortunately, yes, a, too many aspects of film is way too much aesthetic based. It's again using Zac Efron as an example. Mm-hmm. Zac Efron being super chiseled, you know, walking See, down the beach. Why is that so. the focus? That's of why I something? think it's like okay, I'm preparing for a role. It means I'm getting in shape, not like I'm getting into character. Yeah, the but character he, he's like, is being in shape. That's he looks all. That's all the substance. That's there. the thing that that's gotten that's gotten look, way out. Of hand. I agree with you. Don't get I'm me wrong. It sounds like I'm not. Dudes looking hot, but a good example is uh, Chris Hemsworth for Thor. Uh-huh. Uh, if you watch uh, from Thor one through to Age of Ultron, mm-hmm. he is twice as big in Age of Ultron than Thor one. What are you saying? Twice as big. 
Hugh Jackman and between yeah, Hugh the, Jackman the first, from the original Jackman Wolverine. First Wolverine to the last one. It's like, do you think his his job doing that character is any better based on what shape he's in? I don't. Think I like so. the first movie. Probably was my favorite one out of all of them. It the first, didn't the first have X-Men? to. Be, yeah, I didn't think he'd have to be that chiseled. No, it didn't make but, a difference. But I think it's um, as there's more exposure uh, to these things publicly. Um, the requirement gets more intense. Yeah, I'm just like, saying it. Uh, no one probably why? had to be in that yeah, level of shit. Why? Why? You know, what, what, honestly, how I does wish it I had an answer. Affect, yeah. I really Dear wish Hollywood, I had an I'm just saying why? It, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm obviously, I'm not going to see these guys with their shirts off. It's cool to see how, you know, it, it, the superheroes should be in shape like that. I'm just saying, like, the superhero stuff I get. Yeah. Well, you know I, bring what up, I, mean? I, bring I see up Captain Thor. America being in shape I get. But, like, it's like, like the John Krasinski for doing some crappy, you know, throwaway action movie he needs to, like, have. Five percent body fat or something like that is just a little bit ridiculous. Well, that was it a rare case because anything. he was actually up for Captain America at the time. Yeah, yeah. And, but even then, the requirement immediately was I got to get in that kind of shape. Well, which then I understand. You don't, you, yeah, you don't want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been that too. Well, again, I, I, real quick, I brought up the <laughs> Chris Hemsworth yeah. as the example just because, like, you can put a side by side, and that's not a long time. Like, if you, it's just what was Avengers like? Two thousand eight is the yeah. first Avengers, mm-hmm. and then you put that up against Age of Ultron. It's it's really not that much time in between. But the size difference is yeah. unbelievable. Well, what do you think they're what do just you think like looking doing? at his arm? It's just I mean, it's just ridiculous that the way that they have these characters does it make the character more interesting? No, and it's just so you know you, again with Hugh Jackman, and it's just I feel reflective of this aesthetics culture mm-hmm. that applies both both male and female actors. Just you know any presentation, just this weirdly almost uncanny valley that we're moving into mm-hmm. aesthetics wise. You know, women have to be unbelievably beautiful mm. i mean if you put there if you look at you know claire danes is a perfect example of an actress that you know looking back to like romeo and juliet which is like 20 years old at this point she was a beautiful girl she was beautiful in that movie look at actresses around her age like 16 to 22 in movies now they they're like supermodels and Still it's unbelievable yeah, very much and so. it, but they're playing the same character but they would be playing like you know just a teen girl yeah, and it's but, just okay, the way they okay, look is unbelievable. Thing that we didn't realize. And a teen up, guy a now would the, just be totally ripped, and it's like, what is happening? Well, there's differences in casting. When we when we were growing up, um, mm-hmm. people that were teenagers. <laughs> well, that's what Adam's saying. Uh, that, that's exactly were, what Adam like, was saying. Thirty-five. You know, one of the things just to bring it back to Baywatch um, with Zac Efron is you look at him in um, what was that movie? Thirteen going on third? No, it was. Um, uh, it was one of those body swap movies. Him and Matthew Perry. Matthew oh Perry yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, like yeah, that yeah. movie, and I'm blanking on the name, but thir- I forgot Matthew Perry. Was the yeah, sixteen was, was again? Yeah, yeah, sixteen again. Sixteen or something again. Like that. Yeah, and yeah. it went back to. Everyone. I really liked that movie. It was quite good. Yeah. yeah, he was an in shape kid. You but know, he wasn't now he's insane. An in-shape young he wasn't man. insane. No, not at all. And then you look at him as an adult in uh, Neighbors. He's in shape, yeah. but in like shape like somebody who just really takes care of their body. Really, and yeah. you know, they go to the gym a lot. It's not obnoxious. We've got a picture up right now, and it's it's him in Baywatch, and it's ridiculous. It, it's almost like someone took a magic marker. My thing is, and drew on his chest the abs. What do you have you know? to do to get in that shape too? Like drugs. obviously, yeah, yeah, exactly. And so it's just like we have this weird fascination with like <laughs> drugs. If it's in sports, it's cheating. But if it helps you get a Role? How is that not the same type of cheating and a different different profession? complete agreement? Complete Dep- agreement. It's a different profession, but it's still like you're getting a competitive advantage over someone getting a job. How is that not the same thing? Because it has to be drugs. You don't gain weight like that mm. and lose body fat yeah, without I I taking oh, something. Oh, I just, you just don't. Not in that time. Oh, all right. So yes, he is very chiseled looking, but we can't automatically assume that drugs led why not yeah, no no, no I, mean, I was so being i was being facetious well, I drugs for some people drugs they're making right? the same conjecture as they're they're making the point of the same conjecture as one would for an athlete performing right. similarly I, I get that but we have competitions of people doing you know showing off all their bodybuilding muscle capabilities mm. we don't know there's you know there you have to i think it's pretty it much possible. highly so known that it, i think it's pretty much accepted that i think that's just how it is mm. you don't get that way just like eating your you know your eating vegetables your and stuff and you, that that there's got to be something else well i'd like to find there's out more be. i'd like to find out more about this if you do have any more to say on the <laughs> yeah, subject hit us up at, on, yeah, yeah. yeah hit us up at you don't need down to radio at gmail.com let us know what you think also to bring it back to baywatch real quick dude i highly recommend people go out and see this um it was actually a good acting by efron and uh and johnson and everyone really surprisingly like the full cast no one half-assed it no one phoned it in even though it is baywatch the rock's a good dude Mm -hmm. um (laughs) there was 
uh, your David Hasselhoff cameos, and believe it or not, they were actually um, <laughs> how they, can they, it they, not they be? were funny. They were amazing. Just, also, shout Hoff. out to the Hoff. This band had the gumption to sit next to Dwayne the Rock Johnson shirtless. Oh, you still in shape? I saw Whoa. some pictures of him when he were doing the film. And like Not ha- ha- compared ha- to Dwayne the no, Rock Johnson, no, who has those freak. cartoon proportions we were just talking about. Yeah, he's always like, uh, I'm, I woke up at three fifty a.m. this morning. And I, I have had to an hit app. The gym. I have an app. Is that, it the Rock that, app? That, that yeah. Wake up so. app? And, yeah, and you can set an alarm for when he wakes up, and <laughs> it's usually like app? four a.m. Yeah, it's, it's in a different time zone though. Well, it it adjusts for where you are. Okay, and then he gives you a motivational. The Rock's up at nine p.m. Let's go. He gives you a motivational message message every day oh jeez, is this oh. really like he types in something no no no. he like records motivational messages that play every day i'm it's not his, kidding yeah it's his wake up this app. is a real it's, app it came out of oh, i was like it really? seems a little over the top see there's right. there Adam, he is I'm, there coming, he is I'm, I'm coming over to your side <laughs> of liking him, him a little he's a good yeah. dude sign me up on <laughs> oh jeez. all right well baywatch um starring zach efron starring the rock starring several other people and they <laughs> and some other guys did, yeah then some are animal the schmoes um no priyanka chopra Mm. Um, like a good cast of folks doing a good job on Ridiculous Fair, but ridiculous enough to be super fun. I recommend people check it out. All right. All right. Um, Johnny, I believe you got to check out a game Thumper. Yes, That's I did. That's supposed to be doing interesting things. Tell us about it, my friend. Thumper. All right. So Thumper is a crazy game where you're playing as this weird chrome beetle racing down. Not really racing, just like, I don't know, B 